Hi, it's Mr. Peterson with Applied Character Training. Today we are talking about the important character quality of discernment. Discernment is understanding the deeper reasons why things happen. It's interesting, we get a lot of pictures of discernment from the Bible. And one of the ones that sort of stands out to me is from King Solomon. When he was just a young man, God came to him and said, Solomon, ask me whatever you want and I'll give it to you. Wow, can you imagine how you would respond if your mom and dad said, hey, anything you want, I'll give it to you. Would you ask for uh, some Legos or some money or maybe a new bicycle? Well, King Solomon, he was a pretty smart uh, young man. And King Solomon didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for a long life. He didn't ask for a big mansion. It's interesting what he asked for. He asked for discernment. Here's what he said. This comes from 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse number 9. Here's what Solomon said. He said, Lord, give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad. Boys and girls, King Solomon asked for discernment. It's interesting, not too long after that, in the same chapter, as a matter of fact, there were two women that had newborn babies. And while they were sleeping, one of the women rolled over and laid on top of her newborn baby and it suffocated and died. The next morning, the two women were fighting over the live baby. One woman said, the live baby's mine. And the other said, he's mine. And they went, went to King Solomon. And when King Solomon heard the story, he used his discernment. Here's what he did. He said, wow, let's solve this problem. And he asked one of his guards, he said, bring me my sword. And they brought him a large sword. And King Solomon said, well, if, if you say the baby is yours and you say that it's yours, I'll figure this out. What we'll do is we'll take my sword and we'll cut the baby in two pieces. You can have one, you can have the other, problem solved. And immediately, one woman said, no, don't harm the baby. Leave the baby alone. Give it to the other woman. And immediately, King Solomon discerned that that was the actual mother. And he said, you know what? Give the, the baby to the woman that showed compassion and didn't want the baby to be harmed. Boys and girls, King Solomon was a man of discernment. And then later, Jesus came to earth, and Jesus was maybe the most discerning person that ever walked the earth. He always looked at the deeper reasons why things happened. And one day, while Jesus was teaching his disciples, a group of men came to them, and they dragged a woman with them. And they said, this woman has done some evil things. And they were carrying some large stones. And they said, our law says that we should throw stones at her until she dies. And Jesus, because he discerned the true attitude and the true problem, he realized that the problem was sin in our lives. And he realized that everybody had that problem. Here's what Jesus said. He said, you know what? She's done some bad things. So whoever of you hasn't done anything bad, you go ahead and throw your stone at her. And boys and girls, what these men did is one by one, they dropped their stones and they walked away. You see, everybody has a problem with sin. And Jesus traced the problem to its cause. And he told the woman, woman, where are your accusers? Go and stop sinning. Don't do those wicked things anymore. Boys and girls, we need to have discernment in our life. Instead of judging people hastily, uh, we need to think problems through. As a matter of fact, that reminds me of our memory work. Let's do it together. It goes like this. I will learn from past experience and not repeat mistakes. I will trace a problem to its cause, whatever it may take. I will ask the proper questions to find out what's really true. And instead of judging hastily, I'll think a problem through. Before me lies an open map, the choice is mine to make. I'll live a life of character, and that's the road I'll take. Wow. 
boys and girls, discernment is a character quality that we want to develop in our life. Let's look, let's listen, let's learn and use our brains, and let's use discernment in our life. Boys and girls, discernment is understanding the deeper reasons why things happen.